Welcome everybody to the Spring Creek Acres weekly update. Drone mode. Yep, that's right. You don't have to look at my ugly mug this week. The first stop is my new garden bed. The utility company was nice enough to leave a long ditch. I had to make a bridge, which is at the bottom there. It's really, I just filled it up with wood logs. But the, we're going to plant three sisters over here, which is corn with pole beans growing on it and then squash intermixed. It's supposed to be a good combination to stop weeds and feed the plants. Over here is where the chickens and franken chickens were last week. The dark brown spot is where the franken chickens moved on a daily basis. I moved them to the other side here and put an electric net around them. The chickshaw also has a green webbing around it to keep the flock, as I'm calling them now, close to the chickshaw for aerial protection. They apparently do not like drones as they're all hiding. We're going to try to find them anyway, but to no avail. They're being smart. Strange thing, hide under chickshaw. And in this, the chicken tractor, we have the Franken chickens. I'll zoom in here. You can kind of see, I'll put a little yellow box around it, the Franken chickens white outline there in the background. That is as far back in as 23 full-size chickens can get. Now here I did some mowing. The rectangle shows the only safe place to actually mow with the tractor is too steep. And the little line there is uh, emphasizing that utility ditch. Now they put that utility ditch in 20 years ago. And the only problem is, is they didn't pack it enough. So when you're driving a tractor around on it, uh, it's precarious. We're going to cruise down here because I found something interesting while I was uh, mowing. There in the middle bottom of the screen is a 14 inch by 8 inch tall anthill, which I accidentally nicked with the bush hog. That's why I know it's an anthill. Otherwise, it looked like a pile of dirt with holes in it. We're going to zip up here to the property line. You will yellow flag, come around the corner. And the question is, who leaves a stump at the height that a bush hog will hit it? It was completely covered by brush when I hit that with the bush hog. It not only stopped the bush hog, but uh, stalled the engine and the tractor. The brown bushes here are roses and the green ones are some kind of random berry. And then I have to confess my getting my tractor stuck. So I was driving down here with the disc implement on. I had driven through it before, but apparently with the implement, it was too heavy and sunk it in the mud. I took uh, three hours to finally get that out. I tried everything until I remembered that I have a 2000 pound winch and a 2000 pound tractor. So I tied it up to a tree within 40 feet, not that one, and uh, yeah, pulled it out. Now for a little garden tour, there's the pears. I'm going to zip down here and look and see how my spring wheat is doing. The farmers in the area plant, plant um, winter wheat, which is only four inches taller than my cute little spring wheat. And then we're going to skip over an empty bed. That's the spring wheat right there in the foreground. The weeds are, well, weeds. I'm so lazy. And we're going to skip over that empty bed. It won't be empty next week when we do this again. And the stakes here actually have numbers on one side. So like one and, and one to show, to remind me of what I planted between the two. This first section. I planted squash, not squash. I planted spinach and cabbage. And then there's an empty space. And then here in the next between the three stakes, I planted three different kinds of beets. And then the next section, I planted radishes. And then the dark section, there's two different kinds of carrots, none of which are normal. The tractor needed an upgrade so we got it a canopy and oh, it makes it so nice. And we'll end the video with a little bit of flowers. Have a great week and thank you for watching.